in today's video, I'm going to show you how to pick up women in the gym. I'm actually just gonna show you day one of an intensive back to the gym workout that I didn't overanalyze it. I just walked into the gym and started by simply picking up the weight. Stay tuned for this journey of mine. It's going to be quite lovely. I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Peace. about more. It's not about the, you know, the quantity. It's the quality. Just like in the gym, guys, when you're lifting reps and stuff. You know, it, it, it's, not, it's not the reps you do that count. It's making every fucking rep count that matters. Every day count in your life that matters for a life fulfilled. It's a carpe diem that's very hard to live, but it must be that way. If morning turns into a longer period of stay, it's called regret because you didn't do it right. So you learn from that lesson, you don't repeat it. Failure, we learn from, grow from, and then we go back at it and don't repeat it. That's growth, man. We all make mistakes, we just try not to repeat them. So the next person in your life that you care about, you make sure when they pass that it doesn't come with that regret. You do it right this time. You learn from the other one. Or maybe it's you going out. You know, first, you know, so you talk to them and you make sure everything's right. So when you go out, they don't feel the regret. It's all good, guys. It's coming. There's no fear towards death because we can't control it for one. And when it does come, the only reason why you have fear is because you didn't do everything you wanted to do in your life. And I'm not talking like right now, I'm okay to die. It's not about checking all the boxes and being a grandfather and doing all, it's not about that. Because that's, that's a luxury. You don't have that right to live that long. All you have is today. That's all you got. Do you make the most of the today? Do you make today remembered? 9-11, you know, fallen but not forgotten. Every day passes but lived. Same mentality. And if you do it that, that way, when if you die at 20 or 30 or 80, it's going to be okay with you. You're not gonna be scared. Yeah, do you want more time? With, with Quest, sure, I want more time. Do I want time in my life? Do more things? Sure. I love to experience more of this beautiful blessing we have called life. But if I'm not able to move forward anymore, I'm sure as shit not saying, fuck, man, I didn't do enough in my time I did have. Hell fucking no. I'm cool with it. So it's a celebration. There's an aftermath, an afterlife. And if you're not spiritual and you're an atheist or you don't believe in anything else, get over your fucking demons. Get over your ego. Believe there is an afterlife just for the ability to have accountability of today. In recap, guys, death gives you an eye-opening perspective of what matters. It gives you accountability and it gives you responsibility. The responsibility comes with people far better than you that have died far younger than you to give you this opportunity in mortality to make changes and make moves. We are born free. We live at the cost of many others before us. That freedom we have. You cannot take it in vain. There's a responsibility to live your life because the ones before you, I believe, embrace those highs of life they were never able to live, they were robbed early of it. They embrace them through you. You have a responsibility. It's not about you anymore. It's about a bigger picture. So get that through your head. The accountability is that today matters. Just like running a marathon, 90 days out, you had 90 days of training for it. You cannot blow off today's responsibility till tomorrow because you lost one ninety of a chance to successfully engage that marathon. Today matters. There's an afterlife where you're going to be judged to a much higher power. That judgment is judging you when no one's around. It's keeping you honest in your day when no one's looking at you. It's making sure you do everything right. There's accountability to make sure you're ready for that. It's going to college and it's passing all your tests so the accountability of graduation is successful and you get your degree and then move into the work market. Your life is the same way every single day. You're, you're, you're building your resume and doing everything right so at the end there's a celebration of the afterlife. Gotta believe in that though. 
Even if you're not spiritual, just believe in it. Because it makes today accountable all of a sudden. It makes it valuable. Otherwise, why is what's the fucking point? The other is the perspective of death. We've all seen the near-death experiences of people and how it changes them. Mine might be up today, I don't know. I'm cool with it though. Because up until now, I've done everything I wanted to do. There's some things I wish I could have done better. I don't regret them. Why don't I regret them? Because I showed up. I went for it. Maybe if I failed, I learned from that failure, which, is, which in turn has made me stronger now years later. It wasn't for those failures, you know, I wouldn't be who I am now. I look back on my life and, and, and I you know, am so grateful for the successes, but blessed by the failures. Because the failures are really what created the strength for the success to actually come to fruition. Be excited about life. Stop being so scared about death.